What is going on? You guys got a brand new video for you on Bitfusion. Do not deposit any funds into this until I have vetted this process thoroughly. I'm going to pretty much start saying that in every one of my videos because I want to make sure that uh, withdrawals are smooth into each of these uh, protocols and deposits are smooth. Everything in between, everything looks good for at least about a week. Now, even though, you know, these projects cross the T's, dot the I's, uh, you know, anything can happen in the future, right? No project stays around forever. Now, the current narrative that I see emerging is a lot of these protocols are starting to look a lot like centralized exchanges, um, such as Coinbase or such as Binance. This one looks a lot like Binance. And essentially you create an account, they've got spot trading, futures trading, your wallet's over here. I'm not going to go into too much detail on this. What I'm going to focus on is their ICO right now. They do have an initial coin offering known as RAT. So I'm going to read through this real quickly, and then I'm going to go ahead and show you how to deposit and then get involved in the ICO. Again, what I would recommend just in this video though, is just go ahead and create a free account. Do not deposit any funds yet whatsoever. Again, until I vetted this process entirely, I have these developers that reach out to me. They compensate me to create videos uh, that by no means uh, means that I'm actually going to talk positive about any project. It just means that I'm going to showcase it and I'm going to vet the project. Okay. So introduction to Bitfusion, which is the name of the, uh, the platform here. The main purpose of blockchain exchanges is to enable users to convert fiat currencies to other cryptocurrencies and digital assets. They provide a platform for users to trade cryptocurrencies, allowing them to take advantage of price fluctuations and profit from their investments. Blockchain exchanges also play a crucial role in fostering the adoption and growth of the blockchain ecosystem. So you've got KYC within Bitfusion. I went ahead and went through the KYC process. It's completely up to you. You can choose to use your own information. You can choose to use somebody else's information, depending on if you're concerned, whether they're going to take your information, resell it, use it, steal your identity, et cetera, et cetera, because this is the wild, wild west of crypto. So just, you know, be aware of that. So account creation process, the blockchain exchange market has experienced significant growth in recent years, driven by the increasing popularity of cryptocurrencies. We know that. Identity, identity verification requirements, Coinbase requires it, Binance, Kraken, Bitfinex, and uh, of course now Bitfusion. Account security and two-factor authentication. Okay, we're very familiar with all this stuff. Security. Now RATS becomes a popular indicator. This is the ICO that I'm talking about right here. The crypto market is full of diversity diversity, if I can talk, and within this bustling ecosystem, a new competitor has emerged, rats. This unique meme tag is inspired by one of the most prolific mammals on earth, which is no ordinary digital creature. Powered by the groundbreaking Bitcoin serial number system and employing the unique BRC20 standards, rats has made significant progress in the crypto space, leaving a legacy of curiosity and potential. Okay, seems like a bunch of fluff so far. Let's read on. Rats was born from the interesting intersection of artistic expression and technological innovation. The Bitcoin ordinal protocol launched in early 2023, revolutionized the ability to write digital content into Bitcoin's smallest unit, Satoshi Nakamoto. This breakthrough opens a Pandora's box of possibilities, transforming the Bitcoin blockchain into a versatile canvas that can host digital artifacts spanning text, images, audio, video, and even complex code. Rats, officially born in November 2023, is the extraordinary result of this burst of creativity. So Bitcoin Ordinal Protocol um, is a way for us to get things like JPEGs, NFTs on the Bitcoin blockchain, just so you guys kind of understand. Injecting scarcity into the Bitcoin blockchain, RATS differs from many meme tokens in that it is based on the BRC20 standard, again, which is Bitcoin ordinal protocol, a framework traditionally associated with Ethereum. This unlikely pairing gives RATS its rarity, unlike traditional meme tokens, 
which are produced infinitely. Rats have a limited supply, making each token potentially a valuable digital asset within the Bitcoin blockchain space. So, I mean, this is really going to come down to how much liquidity comes through this, right? If, you know, they're not just reaching out to me, but they're reaching out to publications, blogs, uh, larger websites and larger influencers, this could very well produce a, you know, significant result for, you know, the average person that give, gets involved with this. But again, this is still very, very new. Bitfusion is still very, very new. If you go to YouTube and you type in Bitfusion, you're not going to see, you know, a lot on Bitfusion. So if I put Bitfusion crypto, what do we see? Okay, we don't really see much here. Let's see, BitBoy. Yeah, you see, I see abs there's absolutely nothing. So I'm really, from what I'm seeing, the first to showcase this on YouTube, which that will give you high reward, but very high risk. So you just need to understand that. We could be the first of the party and this could completely blow up. We could be the first of the party and we could be the only ones to the party, right? That is just the deal with these projects and any type of project where we're going to be the first to have the opportunity to get in. Although RATS is classified as a meme tick token, it significantly deviates from the norm, causing concern throughout the crypto community. Locking a traditional white paper website or roadmap, RATS offers two different explanations. Deliberate departure from convention and one potential red flag. So there's a lot of fluff and filler in this document, but essentially you know, we're taking a risk on another meme coin on the BRC20 network. So all this white paper stuff really doesn't matter if there's no liquidity coming in. So we're going to see, you can see speed of progress right here. We're at 0.14%. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and participate in the ICO. What you could do is you can create an account. There's going to be a link below. You'll have to complete a KYC verification process, which will be under your account right here. You'll click right here where it says verify. You can see mine is pending review. Um, all you gotta do is click verify and then you can upload a driver's license front and back or a passport front and back or some sort of identification card. Whether you choose to use yours or somebody else's from the internet, um, you know, that's completely up to you if you want to do that. If you don't trust just some random website with your information, you know, I can obviously understand that. So I went ahead and uploaded a photo ID front and back. That is still waiting on verification. Once you do that, you can go to your wallet overview right here. And you can go to your spot account right here. From here, you can deposit. You got USDT, XRP, amongst others. I would suggest doing USDT, click on deposit. And then this is the address that you would deposit to. You could start with a small amount just to test and then do a larger amount from that. So maybe five, $10, make sure it goes through. And then from there, you can go ahead and deposit a larger amount. Once you do that, you can go back to your wallet and wallet overview, go to your spot account. You'll be able to see it right here. And then what you would do is click on transfer and you would transfer USDT. So we'd select USDT right here and you would do, you know, however much you want, $100, $500, $500, $5,000, uh, $5, whatever it is, then click on confirm. And it will go from, you want to make sure that it's from the currency account to the ICO subscription account. Okay and then USDT, and then enter the amount here and click on confirm. Once you do that, you can go over to ICO subscription right here. You can click on participate in, and then we can enter the amount that we want to buy right here. I just did $100 for now, and that is equivalent to this amount of RATS token that we're gonna buy. So let's go ahead and do that. You can see that's $100 USDT, participate now, confirm and we are good to go. So I will be doing more update videos on the specific project. I'll let you guys know the progress that we make here. Just for now though, create just a free account below in the des description. Again, I don't recommend making a deposit yet, 
So just do that. That is the only thing that um, I would suggest at this point. If you do want to be notified of this current project's updates as well as future projects, because time is of the essence and it's important to get into things early if you're going to get into any project, make sure that you subscribe, tick the bell icon, and also join my Telegram group below. And if you want to become a so-called crypto influencer or you want to learn affiliate marketing where you can get paid to showcase projects, as well as share your affiliate links on these different projects or just anything in the affiliate marketing world, there's going to be a link below that will help you get started with affiliate marketing. Thank you so much. And we will see you in the next video. Take care.